Hi, y'all. I'm here with my Monstera today. Clippings of my Monstera Deliciosa today. This one, I potted it about a year ago. And it has grown a lot. It's heavy, so just be with me. It's a bunch of leaves here. As you can see, it's grown at least six leaves since I put it in this pot. And I love the little teacup holder pot or coffee mug or whatever. But I've got to stabilize this plant. These two leaves right here, I put a clip on them. You can see the clip right here. You can buy those in Dollar Tree or Dollar General. They are for exactly this right here. Some people get the elastic, like, twisty ties, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we have to get started on this. I went outside, and I found a stick, so to speak. It's a stick, and it's like prongs on it. Strongest, let's get out the way. The strongest piece being the stem right here. If y'all can see what happens, watch. Look. Oh, boy. And what I'm trying to do is get these aerial roots down into this dirt so that we can get some growth to come out from here, the inside. These aerial roots, don't clip them off. Some people do, but you don't want to do that. It is growth, okay? So I got this stick with this stem, and it's not really, really strong, but we're going to try to do something here. Oh my goodness. I've got to do this, y'all, because my cat thinks that it is a toy. Okay? So I want to get that stick far down in here. Right? And hopefully I can get the aerial roots wrapped around it. He is watching me like a hawk, y'all, my cat. Right over here in the corner. <laughs> he just watching, hoping I make a mistake. Okay, so y'all see that's kind of stabilized. The stick kind of worked, right? Not to my liking. So, the best thing to do, since it's not working, is like I said, growth at all. They kind of just stabilized the plant. I think I'm going to go down a little bit lower. Oh, my monstera. All right. It's down in there. It's doing its job. It's holding this thing up. It is quite heavy, especially since I just watered it yesterday. A lot of people want to know if you can just keep repotting these to keep them from cutting them. I don't know if they have a pot big enough. But like I said, they come from the Amazon rainforest, and they live in the understory. So it's shade, but it's sunlight. Anyway, y'all can't barely see me because this is a monster, Monsteria Deliciosa. Again, I just wanted to stabilize that branch, but I also have something else that I want to work with today, y'all. I'm going to get her out of the way. Put her over here back in this corner where she belongs. Okay, this is not the one that I took the clipping from in this short. This is not the one. We're going to work on this today, y'all. The roots are outstanding. The pot, that is an aerial root right there, that brown one. Okay? This definitely needs to go into a pot, and that is what we're working on today. The Monstera Deliciosa, my favorite plant. Be right back. I'm back. Okay. So, what I did was, I took some of the original soil with bark. Remember I told y'all that they have, like, soil that comes with bark? So, I took this from my original Monsteria. Give it some nutrients. Right? I can't believe how quick they grew roots. I did a short on this two weeks ago, and we got all these roots. 
And I know that I say, this is not growing season, but propagation can be done any season. That's my word. Anyway, I saved some of that bark soil. Y'all know what my mixture is already. Then I'm gonna roll my sleeves up and get my hands dirty. Mix it all together, y'all. All together, right? Mix it all up together, right? Now, with the regular pot and soil, there's already perlite in it. They just add a little bit. But you wanna make sure that you have enough. Look, this bark comes in handy, y'all. This bark, that's why I took it from the original plant. Because in the Amazon, that's what the soil was like, I'm told. Okay, so here we have it. It's all mixed up. My hands are good and dirty, right? So then we just gotta get a good pot. Here we go. These, these pots, terracotta pots, are like the best. I wouldn't say for any plant, but plants that need to retain their moisture, such as the, the, the Deliciosa, the Monstera Deliciosa, these clay pots are the best. It's hard to keep these because when you repot, sometimes they crack. And so I'm lucky that I was able to save this one without a crack or a nick or anything. This is, I believe, six inches, six or eight. I think this is eight inches, I'm sorry. So that's an eight inch terracotta pot. I clean them out with apple cider vinegar. Be careful not to use soap and bleach and stuff like that in your pots unless you want wrong water or let it sit in the rain for days. Do not use chemicals to clean out your plant pots. It's a sure shot way to clean your plants, to kill your plants, I'm sorry. The chemicals are no good. That's why they need to particular types of soil. That's why they don't water. You can't just give, if your water is not good in your state or city, don't just give it tap water, filter the water. Filter your water for your house plants. Monstera deliciosa, I wouldn't say it's a fussy plant, but it won't grow properly. Listen, y'all, it's new growth coming in right here. These plants will thrive if you give them exactly what they need. They don't fuss, but they do need a warm environment. They do need humidity, and they definitely need soil that retains moisture. Hence, the bark, okay? The perlite. So we're just going to get started here. I found a little saucer, one of my little plant saucers. Remember, when you take those plants out of those pots, you can keep those pots. Just clean them out with lemon. You can use lemon. You can use just water. But don't, I, I use apple cider vinegar and lemon. Or lemon, or both, or whatever. Just natural products only, okay? Okay. So let's just get started, like I said. I moved this dirt out of the way by filling up this. So I'm gonna take like three big handfuls and cover the bottom of this. I love the way this soil feels in my hand like that, y'all. I love it. I've been like this since I was a kid, really. All right, so three and a half, no handfuls. Okay, because we want to cover these roots now. There's a lot of roots. Don't worry about the aerial roots. That's going to happen with a monstera. It's going to happen. And they, it's just growth. And I think they're beautiful, honestly. It's a leaf coming in. I don't know if I can show you. Let me try to see if I can show you. It's definitely a leaf coming in. I may have to mop this floor, but that's all right. Look at these roots. Look at those roots, y'all. How long and strong. Even the aerial root is growing roots. It is amazing. I love these plants. But there is a leaf coming in right here, if y'all can see it. That is leaf growth. Okay. So look. There wasn't enough dirt. I'm going to do one more handful of this. I could put this back in here. I'm going to use this water to water my plant now. Okay. So I said three and a half all the way make it four, okay? Four handfuls I did. 
And I'm going to go ahead and start sticking this in. Because guess what, y'all? This one grow and grow and <laughs> Like the other one did. I'm going to put this over here, out the way. And we're going to show y'all how to do this. I hope y'all like these videos. Because I really enjoy doing them. Now listen, them roots, they grow in sideways like. So you want to sit all them roots down into the soil. Even the aerial roots, if they're there. But you don't have to force aerial roots into the dirt. Okay? There's no need to force the roots. They're going to grow outward eventually anyway. These things are like trees. They're amazing. And we all know how long a tree can stand. Right? Storms, they last. Here we go. Backfill the Mysteria. I don't want it to lean, but it's going to lean for a minute while I'm um. <laughs> and yes, I have allergies for all these indoor plants. They help. <laughs> they do help. You want to get them roots down in that soil. I'm trying to cover it. I'm trying to bake through every single... Listen, I may have to pour all this in here, y'all. This is a gallon um, bowl. That's holding a gallon of dirt where it need to be. Okay? I'm trying to plant this properly. Y'all be here with me. I'm doing the best I can. I gotta make some more mixture. And that's why I like this little area that I set out for my plants. Because it's so easily cleanable. These floors, love them. Though. They listen. All right, y'all can't see me, but I'm mixing my soil again. <laughs> I'm mixing my soil, and I'm gonna finish big filling this. We almost done. The roots are not covered, but they have to be. They have to be. Everything but the aerial roots. And you will know the difference because the main roots are white. The aerial roots, they come out brown and thick. All of the roots are thick, but they come out brown. Anyway, let's finish big filling. We almost done. <laughs> I'll be able to stabilize it once I water it, y'all. Okay? I'm almost done. Terracottas have a, a line. So you'll know where to fill it up to. They show you where the, the fill up should be. There are always lines in the terracotta box. Always. It's just built like that. Y'all see? How it's kind of like a teacup right here. The dirt shouldn't go no higher than that. Tell you how much moisture you have in it and everything. It do. I love terracotta pots. I love house plants. I love things that grow. I love to grow. So I'm almost done. I'm seeing like small little roots here. Take the rest of this soil. And I'ma just uh, and just wave it out, yo. Wave it out. Here we go. All right. Now, put that to the side. This is the part, the ending part. So we're feeding it with nutrients from the soil. The plant grows its own nutrients as well. And you know, the leaves bring in photosynthesis with photosynthesis with light. Okay, there are actually veins in plants. There are veins, if you ever noticed in your plant, things that look like veins, they really are veins. Those plants are living things. If they're real. Okay. So, it's down in there, y'all. It's down in there. I got a little trick that I'm going to do. With, I do it with some of my plants. But seeing as how I may have to put this in my in a different spot than where all the rest of my plants are. And I want to keep my cat from knocking this over. That's why I got the sturdy terracotta. There's another trick that you can use to keep it from falling over or being knocked over and also retain moisture. I'll be right back. Here we go. That's the trick. Stones. Anyway, here goes. I want to add a little bit more nutrients since it's fresh new to the soil. I'm going to put about a teaspoon. Earthworms. The earthworm castings that I told y'all about. Just a teaspoon of it. Okay? 
teaspoon, a tablespoon. Just don't overfeed or underfeed the queen. I see y'all is not seeing the nut right. It need to be muddy. That's why. So I'm going to need this because in the terracotta, you only get one hood in the bottom. Not a bunch. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over. And I'm going to take this water. I'm going to water my pan. It's going to get quite heavy. Keep that in mind. I need to find me one of those, a little stick or something. To, I re, no, you know, I keep my levels of moisture that way. With a stick or skewer, like a barbecue skewer. So, that's that. It's not going through because I don't have the skewer. It's just sitting at the top of the plant. The water. When I find a skewer, I have a stick. I had got sticks so that I could like stabilize the plants. But you want to make sure that it's going all the way through. Water that all the way through there. It's a nice day outside, so I think I'm going to have to like, I'm going to take this over to the sink. I'm going to finish watering it. And I'm going to put it in this perspective space. I really hope y'all learned something from this video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Again, a repotting or a potting of the Monsteria Deliciosa. Just a clipping from my biggest, boldest Monsteria Deliciosa. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. As always, love, peace, and power from me and mine to you and yours. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.